In part one of this video, we discussed how to use AD.NET NT Framework to display data in a Windows Forms application and also um, use data bound control to display and filter it. So let's uh, take a quick look at the at our previous application. This is our project look like and just run it. F5 actually will run it. So if you run the application, what you see is, uh, again, data is coming from Northwind database, SQL Server 2008 Northwind database. And what happens is, um, first thing, data is being loaded in a drop-down list right here. As soon as you select a customer, this is a customer, and these are orders. The orders for that customer are loaded in this grid, grid view. Now, in this video, what we are going to see is do look at quick customization of data grid view and then how to insert, update, and delete data from the data grid view. All right. So first thing, what I did in this code is uh, let's take a quick look at code behind. What I did is to format the grid a little bit. I removed some columns from the grid view. You grid view data grid view dot columns column name visible false. If you make column visible false, you won't see that column on the UI. And then what one more thing I did is I put a try catch statement around the code. So if there is error occurs, I'll see a message box. Now let's focus on adding, updating, and deleting the rows from the grid view. What I'm going to do is uh, actually add two button controls. F4 will launch the property window. Properties, I'm going to change add button. Add delete. And then I'm going to add actually one more button. Uh, oops. Uh, come on. Uh, go to toolbox. I'm going to add one more button. It's called update. Concept is actually same. Um, you will see how easy it is to add, update, and delete data using entity framework. So double click on these. Double click actually will write click event handler for add, update, and delete button. So what I'm going to do is uh, I call save changes method of entity. If you look at this, uh, my NW entity is right here. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to refresh the control just in case and then I'm going to show a message box row added and to put this in a try if you do tab tab it will write actually code behind for you Now, same code I'm going to actually copy and paste on delete button click and update button click event handlers. And I'll change the message row added, row deleted, row updated. 
Uh, that's all. Now just simply F5. F5 will actually build and run the application. So look at here. So this is uh, my customer. These are orders. So I'm going to add a new order. And say add row added now we know this row is added to the UI how do we know it's really added to the database so what I'm going to do is close this for stop the application now run it again at 5 so now when data is loaded you will see this data is this row is here now let's delete it I select this row and hit delete button now just select the row and delete uh, it's added to mode I guess delete it now delete row delete it now run again you're going to do is uh, F5 as you can see from here the row is gone so same thing apply to update you just make any changes and you just say okay to update row updated it's already updated so as you can see by writing just a few lines of code our add update delete in the data view control is ready and this is all because of ADO.NET entity framework provided by Microsoft this framework automatically takes care of all the notifications and events and knows as soon as you say save changes it knows it knows what data to send back to the database and save it there uh, in my next video I'm going to cover a few more advanced feature in this uh, uh, entity framework um, that includes filtering sorting and uh, looking at more basically um, uh, reference guide look like how to use actually various classes objects and uh, pro property methods of those classes in ad.net entity framework until then later